A couple years back, I did some training videos on uh, using Visio and demonstrated a Visio add-in that I had created. Some of you expressed an interest in the add-in, and I thought it might be nice to go back and uh, show how to create an Office add-in, which many of you may already know, and how I extended the basic functionality to create the Support Tools Visio add-in. And at the same time, I'll go ahead and show you what I've done with Excel. So this course is going to cover creating a add-in, a Visto, Visual Studio uh, Tools for Office, and it'll be for Excel, and it'll be for Visio. The code is in a Git repository called VSTO Training. It's available in my GitHub account, Christopher Rhodes. And so right now what we have here is we have a empty Git repository with just a few basic things, a readme file, um, the typical uh, .git files, and a documentation folder, which I'll put some Visio diagrams, which kind of cover what we're going to be uh, learning today. So let's get started by creating a Visual Studio Tools for Office, a Visto add-in for Excel, and a Visto add-in for Visio. I'm using Visual Studio 2022. You can probably use other versions of Visual Studio. Um, this happens to be the Enterprise Edition, but nothing requires that. I believe any relatively current version of Visual Studio would work just fine. We're going to come up here to File, New, project and we're going to search for Visto and let's start by creating an Excel add-in. So I'm going to click on Excel Visto add-in. I'm going to use C Sharp. We'll call it Excel add-in. It's going to go in the uh, Git repository VSTO training. We're going to not place the solution project in the same directory. You'll see why that's uh, useful in a bit. I'm going to target the latest version of um, .NET that I believe supports Visto add-ins. Going to go ahead and click Create, and then we'll come back up here, add a new project, basically do the same thing. Visto. We're going to scroll down. And there's a Visto add-in for Visio. Call it Visio add-in. Put it in that folder. So now what we have is in our solution template, and we'll rename that in just a minute, we have an Excel add-in and we have a Visio add-in. And if we go back to the file system, what we'll see here is in the Visto training folder, we have an Excel add-in folder, a Visio add-in folder. And if we go into the Excel add-in, that's where the solution file is. So we're just going to move some things around here. So what we're going to do is we're going to... So now that we've created the two projects, let's go back up to the solution and let's rename the solution. Visto add-ins and let's go ahead and save everything close the solution so what we're going to do is we're going to take the Visto add-in solution move it up to Visio training we're going to take the Excel add-in folder and move it up to Visio training go ahead and just so now we've got our Visto add-in solution at the top level. We've got our Excel add-in with the project file. We've got our Visio add-in with the project file. This is perhaps not the cleanest way to achieve this outcome, but at the end of the day, I wanted to have a solution that will open both. So we're just going to make a quick change to the solution here. Edit it in an editor. And we're just going to change the Visio one. So now we should be able to open up the Excel one by going into the folder, opening up the project, the Visio one, going into the folder and opening up the project. Save this. Go back to Visual Studio. Oops, it's in the wrong location. Open a project or solution. And 
Okay, a little bit longer than it needed to be, but now we have a Visto solution with two projects in it. And if we look inside one of them, although they're, they're actually both basically identical, you'll see what got created is two very simple projects that build to DLLs. It's got an assembly info file. It's got a few references to so the Excel one references, the Excel office tools. You can come back and explore this on your own. And a file called this add-in. Visio one's basically the same. Assembly, this add-in, and references, except instead of Excel, it's referencing Office Interop Visio. So now let's pick the Excel project. And what we want to do is take a look at how it's been set up from a project property standpoint. So there's the name of the add-in targeting .NET Framework 481. It's going to produce a class library, which Excel will load in as an add-in. Nothing really special on build events. I, I've been creating add-ins for quite a long time, and it seems to be new to use a conditional compilation signal use, symbol. Use Office Interop. I don't know when that got added to the default template, but it's something new. I hadn't seen that before. Nothing really going on with build events. Debug, what we're going to do is we're going to change the project. Can't start a DLL directly. So what we're going to do for the Excel add-in is we're going to start an external program. And no surprise, we're going to open up Excel. So we'll go to Program Files. This may be in a different location on your machine. Office Root, Office 16. You'll browse to wherever you've got your Office applications installed. So we'll pick Excel. The um, project automatically created a signing key. You don't see it here. But if we go back to the file system in the Excel add-in, there's, oh, there's no signing key because we haven't built yet. So come back to that. So we've picked Excel, and now in the Visio add-in. So Visio 481, same as uh, Excel, use Office Interop. I did not add that. It was automatically added by the template. So debug, we're going to start an external program. Pick Visio. So now, and let's go ahead and start the Excel one. So we'll come back to Excel. And I'm just going to run it. And off on another screen. So let me drag it on. Excel started. We'll just open up a blank workbook. And if we go to File, Options, Add-ins, pick Com Add-ins, there's our Excel add-in, Visto Training Excel add-in bin debug. So it's created um, an add-in, loaded it into Excel. We'll see that in the debugger in just a minute. Close Excel. We'll come to the Visio add-in. Go ahead and run that. Here we go. Let's open up a blank drawing. File, options, com add-ins. There's our Visio add-in. And there's also support tools Visio, which is really um, what we're trying to get to is what it takes to take up out of the box, very simple add in, turn it into something a little bit more complicated. So instead of diving into support tools, Visio, and running through a bunch of complicated code that you've not seen before and maybe unfamiliar with add ins, I thought we'd start with the basic add in. So there we go. We've got add ins now for Excel and add ins for Visio. And as I mentioned before, if we go back and look inside the Excel folder, there's a signing key, Excel add-in temporary key, 
look in the Visio folder, same thing, a temporary key, and what you, you'll you see that in the project properties. If you come down here to signing, to effectively use these, you have to sign what's called the click once manifest. So that automatically gets checked for you. And this is the key that automatically got built. You can create your own files. You can create a test certificate and um, support tools. Visio ships with uh, mine, but you would, of course, need to know my password. So you can just go ahead and create your own test certificate. But that's all it takes to create add-ins. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come back to Excel. Actually, what we're going to do is we're going to open up Excel this add-in and Visio this add-in. So this is the one for Visio. We'll put a breakpoint on this add-in startup, which is the first code that gets called in your add-in when the add-in gets loaded or starts. And shutdown gets called when the add-in is shut down, typically when you exit the application. So I'll set breakpoints on both the Excel one and the Visio one. And let's go ahead and run. We'll just run the Visio one. We're all set to do that. So we'll go ahead and run that again. And what you should see here in just a minute is we're going to hit this breakpoint right here. There we go. We hit the breakpoint. We'll continue. Visio loads. So I'm just going to go ahead and close Visio. Really, no reason to do anything else. And we hit the add in shutdown because Visio is exiting. Same thing on the Excel side. We'll run the Excel add in. Hit the startup event there. We'll continue. Close Excel, hit the shutdown event. So there you go. Pretty easy to create add-ins. What we're going to do now is we're going to uh, check in that set of code changes. So first here in the Git repository, let's add a new tag. And we'll call this create initial add-ins go ahead and commit and push it up to github So if we go to the Git repo, github.com, chroads, visto training, reload that, there's our Excel add-in and our Visio add-in. So that's episode one.